Let's take a second and talk about a natural disaster kit. And when I'm talking about natural disasters, I'm talking about local stuff. Tornadoes, hurricanes, like Katrina. Issues where for a short period of time, you're not going to have that rule of law. And it is going to be every person for themselves, every family's for themselves. Uh, at least until that rule of law is restored. Perfect example was the stuff that was going on in Katrina. Now this is a basic first responder bag. You kind of throw it over the shoulder and you can fit a lot of stuff in there. You can take it with you. You don't have to worry about carrying a tack vest or anything like that. You can take it with you and you can take some essential items with you. Uh, they're very inexpensive. On average, $50 or less, you can find them. Uh, we carry these in our store. They're pretty good. You can find them online, many different brands. But uh, they're typically called first responder bags. And they have Molly attachments on this one. This is kind of like my daily bag that I have. I have a first aid kit on here and then a single pistol mag here. When I'm at home, I'll take this pistol mag out right here and I'll throw it in my pocket. And this is my everyday carry, by the way, for the moment. Taurus PT-111 Pro. 9mm riding in a hybrid inside the waistband. But if I want to up the ante on this bag, I'll take this pouch off and I'll throw this triple pouch on with Glock magazines and I'll carry something like this. In a loose jacket, I can carry this thing with the extended magazine and it'll still conceal fairly good. This is the Forest City Tactical Kydex, which uh, I'll give you a link to their site. Please check out their Kydex. They got some awesome Kydex. I haven't really done enough videos on this stuff. I'm going to do some more videos on the Forest City folks. I haven't been able to get out as much as I like to the range uh, to shoot handguns. I've been doing a little bit, but ammo's tight, so I only shoot so much. But they've got some awesome Kydex holsters. But uh, this bag... If you have a bag like this, you can throw a gun like this with an extended mag. You can throw something like this, three additional mags on the side. You've got your first aid supplies. You can see I've got a cat right there. I can throw snacks in here. And when I'm talking about snacks, I'm talking about good stuff like uh, energy bars, granola bars are awesome. If you have MRE components, you can throw that in there. You can actually throw like a, a Chili Mac pouch or something in there. Um, and you don't even have to eat MREs warm. I mean, Chili Mac, that's like one of the best MRE meals out there. That's kind of a little side deal, but uh, kind of going off subject. But uh, if, you, if you're eating a lot of MREs, Chili Mac is awesome. But anyway, you could throw MRE components in here, whatever you want. Uh, maybe additional supplies. I got 550 cord and a Gerber down here. Inside, I have something that's extremely important when you're in a local natural disaster type situation. And what is that? Water. Not enough people think about water. It doesn't have to be in this particular format. Some people will have, like, you can have a camelback with this. Throw the camelback on your shoulder and you've got a lot of water. If not, you can throw some water bottles and something like this. You need to have water with you. Because in any type of stressful situation, the adrenaline, your heart's pumping. It doesn't matter if you're out there saving lives or looking for loved ones in a, a natural disaster or you're fighting off people. Your adrenaline's running, your body is losing water at an accelerated rate. You gotta stay hydrated. If you don't stay hydrated, all this other stuff right here, all these other preparations are useless. You gotta have the good clear stuff to stay in the game. Other little uh, items of interest, flashlight, um, I already went over, you know, first aid kit, and you can mold the first aid kit to fit whatever needs you have. You can throw stuff in there like a compass if you want or electronics, additional electronics. Like if you have a GPS or something, you can throw in there. There's a lot of different things you can do. But it's good to have a bag like this set up, especially if you're in a hurricane zone or a tornado or something like that where you can just reach out and grab the sucker, throw it over your shoulder, and you have something. You've got your basic ability to defend yourself. You've got the ability to provide first aid to yourself or others. You can uh, sustain yourself or others for an extremely limited time. If you got some food in here, got some water, and that's what you need. Got to have the basics. 
Uh, also think about you can throw some knives in there too. You can throw a knife in there and you can throw a fire starting kit, whatever you want, depending on your environment. So just something to think about. Setting up a first responder bag like this, it'd be great to have in the event of a local natural disaster and you got to get out and do something, try evacuate the city, do whatever you got to do. It's good to have one of these. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.